Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Scott County, Indiana with Elevator Boy, or as some people uh, like to call him News Now Elevator or something to that effect. Either way, it references him getting trapped in that elevator one time when he only had to do was press the button one. But at any rate, he is at the courthouse to file lawsuits on all the uh, YouTubers that have been mean to him. I mean, poor little guy. I mean, do you want your baba? Do you want your blankie? At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We are back at the Scott County Courthouse. This is day two because we have all of our protective order paperwork done and it has to be turned in with the clerk here in Scott County, Indiana um, concerning Tiffany's ex-husband um, going around uh, everywhere, not just social media, but everywhere uh, causing huge, tremendous damages with his life. Well, if that's not the pot calling the kettle black, you're calling Billy a liar. Yeah, this coming from one of the biggest liars I've seen on YouTube so far. I mean, yeah, you claim that uh, we're the cause of you losing your business with that one uh, customer, but now there may be others that are in on this. I mean, yeah, can you expl please explain how we caused all this and you haven't because you know you haven't done a very good job of explaining the step-by-step -step process of how everybody managed to cost you money i mean the way i see it you're on youtube you put yourself out there it there's bound to be consequences in that people will see your personality defects and uh will just tend to run away from you the clerk just got the um Paperwork to start the defamation case, it's a slander case, however you want to say it. Okay, guys. Oh, you're going to sue us for defamation and slander, huh? Well, that's going to be very difficult to do because you got to be able to show us the receipts of how much you've uh, lost, the monetary value, everything like that, you know? And if you can't provide any of that, then, well, you really don't have a case, dude. So, yeah, I don't think this is going to work out for you, dude. I think it's just a lot of bluster that you're trying to get through your system to make yourself feel like more of a man. All right. Uh, EPOs are filed. Defamation slander case is filed. And um, we will be filing motions inside of that from here on out on uh, our e-filing system that we do. So um, there are going to be subpoenas involved. There's going to be evidence going in. There's going to be all kinds of stuff to do. This is not like easy stuff to keep up with because it's it's tedious and it takes a lot of time going through all your paperwork and your stuff. And this is not something we should have had to do. Um, yeah. well, I mean, we literally have a life that's getting stopped because of this, and it's complete nonsense. It's totally unnecessary. Oh, filing frivolous lawsuits is pretty damn tedious, huh? They need all that information to make sure that you have a case and stuff like that. I mean, who could possibly have known that? But at any rate, let me go ahead and play the world's smallest violin for you. Oh, wait, uh, I don't have it around me right now, so, well... Here's a good laugh for you. Um, so, William, you know, we expected out of him, and, and that's why we've been asking for law enforcement to make it stop, because that's their job. They should have made it stop a long time ago, and we're pretty pissed. Um, but as far as these other channels, other YouTubers, you know, we're all supposed to be YouTubers. I, I don't understand what the deal is. You know, all I'm asking is, you know, criticize me all you want. Don't care about that. Some of it's even funny. Um, but when you start attacking our kids and our family and our business That's and funny. working with a person who's under investigation for hurting our kids and family and, and us and our business and all that, that's that. I don't understand that guy. Look, dumbass, if you watch any of my videos, you'd realize I don't attack anybody's children. I don't attack anybody's uh, business like that. And I sure as hell 
don't know what line of work you're supposedly in that caused this great disaster of yours, but here's the thing that you haven't figured out about social media yet, because you're just too damn dense to figure it out. You put yourself out there, people will see you. You put a bad image out there, people will respond to it in kind. And uh, if those uh, prospective employers of yours see that bad image, you can guarantee that you won't have a job after that. So you might as well just sit down and take a look in a mirror and see that you are responsible for your woes in this case. But I doubt that you have that much introspection because you are a complete narcissistic sociopath. I got do not get that, and please do not put our family through anymore. You know, I couldn't ask more nicely. Um, legal action on you guys is definitely not something we wanted to do. I just didn't want you still in my entire video, guys. I'm trying to grow, and I need the views to, to make the channel grow. You know, what I don't need is people that are watching my stuff getting verbally hammered every single time they say anything. Just, you know, criticize, but don't attack. Like, don't be like that. Just right. stop. You know? Look, dude, I hate to do this to you, but I'm going to compare you to Sean Paul Reyes right quick. You don't hear Sean Paul Reyes bitching about all the uh, trolls in our community putting him down. No, I think he just completely ignores us and moves on with his life. But at any rate, if you put an argument on the internet, like Sean Paul Reyes does every single time, there are going to be people that critique those arguments and point out all the flaws. That is just the nature of the business, dude. Get over it. And if you stop whining and complaining and act like a big boy and move on with your life, maybe people will respect that and watch your channel more. You get that? You got your own life to lose. Go live them. Or perhaps you should re-examine your life and ask yourself, is this really worth it? Should I continue on with this? I mean, is it really worth all the arguments and everything like that? The pain and suffering of being a YouTube celebrity, a YouTube star. Ask yourself that. Do you really want the headache of having to deal with other people like that? If not, then I suggest you get off YouTube and just get on with your life as it were. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.